scale written out in order because a scale is a series of notes from the root in order to its octave. Okay? Always see scales in order. C major is C, D, E, F, G. You will never see a C major scale written out C, B, uh, F, E, uh, A, G. It's always in order. That's, that's in any music, scale. That's the definition of a scale, basically. Okay. So our E chord, do you see this? Do you see the pattern here? We're just stacking thirds from whatever root note you want. So the E chord, let's figure out what kind of E chord. We take our E, we jump over the third, the next one would be a, a G, because we've got to skip over the F, and you skip the A to the third to the B. E, G, B. An E, G, and a B together is our third chord. E, G, and B is E minor. So our third chord in the key of C major is E minor. Now, you, you may not know that E, G, and B together is an E minor chord, right? You should learn that, okay? These intervals knowing what the roots, the thirds, that's important. But for now, if you don't know that, you could still watch this module because you're still going to be able to write songs because you know now here's three chords that are in the key of C major. You don't necessarily have to know per se, but I think it's a good idea. Everybody knows this E minor chord right here. Right? That's an E. There's my B. There's the E again, and there's my G. E, G, and B. And then I'm just playing the B again. Open G and the E again. E minor. No matter where I play it, right? I, I can play it anywhere on the neck. Those three notes. Uh, um, there's a nice E minor inversion right there. That's in that song. Uh, I think it's in that song, Hey, hey uh, Snow, by the Chili Peppers that we're going to be learning soon. He uses uh, some kind of cool inversions. But anywhere you can hear this triad. That E minor triad. E, G, B. There's your E minor triad, right? Sound familiar? This is true, what I'm showing you here, for every major key. Follows this formula. Just plug in the different notes. And basically, that's what I did on this chart here. Did it for you. Smart like that. All right, next chord's a kind of an F chord, some type of F chord in this key. So we go to F, and we go to our F note, skip a third A, skip a third C. F, A, and C is the fourth chord in C major, and F, A, and C together is an F major chord. It's also FAC. FAC. Nice. Just the FAC. Just the FAC, man. F, A, C. F major is the fourth chord. G is our next uh, some type of G chord. Remember, these notes in the scale refer to a chord or chords. G, you go to your G, skip over to the next note in the scale, skip the A to the B, skip the C to the third to the D. G, B, D. Everybody knows G, B, and D is G major. Okay? So your next chord in that key, of uh, any major key is a major chord. That fifth chord is going to be, actually it's a seventh, we'll get to that later, the dominant seventh, but G, A, and B is G major. So, so far, in any major key, we have this. First chord would always be major, then minor, then minor, then major, major. Major, minor, minor, major, major. This is what you want to memorize, this formula that we're going to have for all seven by the time we get to the end. Next chord, two, two left, bear with me. There's light at the end of the tunnel, people. I would not steer you wrong. We have to figure out what kind of A chord. What's the sixth? The sixth in um, um, C would be the A, C, because we're st stacking thirds, and E. A, C, and E is A minor. No, Ace minor. Ace minor. A, C, and E is an A minor chord. All right? And then the last chord, which is a very interesting chord, is some kind of the seventh chord in any major key. In, in the key of C, it's B is your seventh. We've got to take the B. Skip over the third to the D, skip over to the F. You got B, D, and F. Guess what? You might not know this. That's a diminished chord. Okay? So B, D, and F together is a B diminished. So the seven chord in any major key is a diminished chord. I don't know if you could see this, but I have a B with a circle, a small subscript up on the top circle. That circle means diminished. Okay? B diminished. The diminished chord is a root, flat third, flat fifth. Two flats in it. The reason I'm telling you this is because when you have a lot of flats, you get a dissonant sound. That's why you don't hear a lot of diminished chords in rock music. You, you hear them um, sometimes. But you it's, you play one? Yeah. It's not generally a... Um, what kind of music is it played in? Uh, more jazz. 
more jazz. Um, um, you'll hear more jazz. Here's a B diminished. Hear the hear the uh, dissonance. I'm playing a it's like, B. It's like in a that's a music in a movie that's kind of you know, yeah. a lot of tension or something. I'm playing a B minor seven flat five, which is the seven chord in any major key. It's half diminished, but you hear that kind of uh, uh, real real dissonance in these uh, 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 diminished chords. Um, here's another diminished chord, a B diminished over D. Hear the dissonance? That's why you don't hear them a lot in rock. You hear them more in like a jazz kind of vein. But they do appear in, in rock music now and then, and blues music, and uh, uh, occasionally you'll see them in pop, but not very often. But you have to know that the seven chord is diminished. Okay, so look at all we're learning here, people. You now know what chords make up any major key. Here's the formula. And you need to commit this to memory, especially if you want to start writing your own songs. It goes, the first chord is major. Let's get a different color out here with our oh, high tech. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go to purple. purple. So you got a major chord as your first chord uh, in any given key. Then you got minor, minor, major, major, minor, and diminish. Okay, here's the formula. Major key, any major key, any major key, whether it's C, D, E flat, F, all the same rules apply. And this is a constant. Okay? Any major key, the chords are major, the one chord, then you go minor, minor, major, major, minor, and diminished. Those are the chords that make up any major key. So this, the key of C major, we're looking at C right now, consists of these seven chords. Now you can embellish these and make them a four note chord and we'll talk about that later, but for now stick to the basics. The chords in the key of C major are C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished. So you could take these seven chords, mix them up and play them within a song and they're always going to sound pretty good together. Some now there are certain things like the five chord always resolves nicely to the one and the four chord is nice to go to for the chorus. There's certain chords that sound better together. But for the most part, these are the chords that are always much more likely to appear in the key of C major than any other chords. And it makes sense. Why? Because all these chords are just various combinations of the C major scale. It's all combinations of these seven notes. That's why they all sound good together. <laughs> right? I mean, it has to be. They're the same combinations of the same scale. And this is true of any major scale. So let's apply this, okay? Um, let's, let's give you some example of this, okay? Uh, let's write. Let's write something. I don't know, we'll make something up, okay? We're in the key of C major, all right? So the chords are uh, C major, and then the, the next chord would be that um, D minor. I'm playing open chords here. E minor, F major, this is what we just went over, G major, A minor, and B diminished. Uh, so let's throw some of those together and see what we come up with. Um, so I'm going to play a C major. I'm just going to do something very basic. And then maybe we'll go to uh, A minor. And maybe we'll go to E minor. Then we'll go to G, because the five chord sounds nice going back to the one. Okay, all in the key. Watch how this will, this will I know already it's going to sound good. All right? C major, maybe two measures each. Sounds great, right? Because all these chords sound good together. And notice how nicely the G goes right back to the C. Because the G is the five chord, and the five chord always usually resolves nicely to the one. Not that you want to do that every time, but it's again, this is a benchmark to go off of. Let's mix the chords up a little bit. Um, maybe we'll go C major, maybe D minor, to E minor. To F. Maybe 
be something like that. Let's try something like that. C minor. Maybe I'll go throw A minor. C minor. Maybe we'll go to E minor in the next. Nice and dark there. D minor. The G. Back to C. Sounds pretty good, right? And then maybe if we go to a chorus, I'll go to the F. Maybe that's where I'll throw the F in. Because the F is the four chord in the key of C. And four chords are nice when you go to a chorus. So maybe we'll take that C. Maybe do some arpeggiating this time. A minor. E minor. G. Now watch the F. I'm just playing around with all the chords in the key of C major, okay? And I haven't even really touched, um, what chord am I leaving out? The B diminished, well, the diminished chord is going to be tough to make sound really good because it's so dissonant. That seventh chord is That's very good. Like What's that? That's the orphan. Of the the orphan of that scale, the lone, the lone wolf of the scale. That's when you, he's really got to do something to get in the song. Yeah, you know what the B minor chord would be if it was playing baseball? Right field. Remember when you were young? If anyone didn't know how to play, where, where would you stick them? Right, right field. The Siberia of the baseball diamond. Is the right fielder. Of the, the, the right fielder. But I'll tell you, you know what they do in the pros? Is they stick the guy with the best arm in right oh, field. Yeah. The guy who has the best arm plays right field to make that long throw from like the corner all the way to third base. Man, how do guys get... Do you ever see those guys? What a gift that must be to have an arm that can throw with like... Yeah. Unbelievable, huh? Um... So the question is, I mean, I see B7 often sounds good in songs. So is that, how does that relate to that? Yeah, because remember, we're going to talk, a seventh chord is another interval. You're adding a flat seventh to a major that chord. sounds good, yeah. probably versus that dissonant one. Just well, you can't substitute for the diminished chord. The diminished, there will always be, the seventh chord is always some type of diminished chord, whether it's half diminished or uh, diminished over a little bass note. But you can embellish these chords. Instead of A minor, I could play an A minor seventh. You know, because um, this is where knowing your chords is so important. In a minor chord, root flat third and fifth, that's in the key. That's the 